Hi, I'm Ron here working on the Smart Wood Shop. Hump day is past. The drawers are all in, all done. Now it's electrical, some detailing for holding some tape measures and squares and things like that. Loading out all the drawers and then finally labeling them. I'll save the labeling probably for down the road after I get everything the way I want it. What I did want to share with you today in this drop-in is the brand new passive lock system that I designed. Now you know from my past designs, I had a couple of different designs and they were not difficult, but a challenge to make. And I wanted to make the sides non-handed, so a side of a cabinet period is, is a left or right. So I had to have um, the dados generic with, without having the notches in them. Otherwise, I'd have had to do it on all of them. So I just went with a three-quarter dado. I designed the drawers with this notch out, which was very easy to do. And you'll see it in the full series with a very simple jig and a router and a pattern um, guide. And then all I did was I dug through my lumber pile and got a piece of uh, scrap cherry uh, from a cabinet job and I ripped the uh, the thickness was about what I needed I'm sorry the the width was about what I needed so I ripped the thickness and um, came up with about three sixteenths and I made them an inch and a seven eighths <clears throat> This is about two, but it's got a little curve in it, in it because of the router uh, round over, and I didn't want to bother squaring them out. And it doesn't matter if this sets all the way back because I'm flushing this to the front edge of the cabinet. And I had designed it to do them on both sides, but I've started with just one side. All I did was, before I put in the drawers, I took one of these, glued it, that's the most important thing because glue is going to hold it over the long haul for banging on it, opening drawers, for getting and pulling, I don't want it to pop out. So I um, glued it, put it in place, and then using a 23 gauge pinner with one inch, I'm down to the last few there, well anyway, one inch those are 23 gauge, they're just a tiny little wire, there's no head on them. And I was able to just hold the gun in there and, and, and shoot three in each one. And then I just did it on one side. If I decide later I need it, it'll be easy to make some more and, and put them on the other side. But as I can, you know, think now, one on one side will be enough. And once the drawer's in, that keeps it, and all I have to do is lift it, pull it out. And I don't have to, when I'm closing it, all I have to do is close it all the way, and it falls right on that. So. So I'm real happy with that design. Obviously, it doesn't have the test of time, but as I commented many times and made the point many times, maybe it's the way I drive, maybe it's my roads. I don't have a problem with these drawers opening. In my last trailer, I set it up for the screws, but I didn't put the screws in. I went the whole time I had that trailer, two years, and never had a drawer come open. And I'm not talking about opening and falling. I'm talking about getting to the job, opening the ramp, and not even having one out that far. If you want to follow along in the building of the smart wood shop and all of the stuff that goes along with it, or these daily drop-ins, which are going to start to peter out here because pretty quick it's going to be done, click on the subscribe button. And also, when you should, once you do that, there's a little bell there. A lot of people don't know this. You click on that and you can turn on or activate that if you want to be notified when I put up a video. And what's neat about that is you can do it for my channel and another channel, but maybe not another. You can set your standard because maybe you don't want to get all those notifications. I do that. I have about 20, 
channels that I subscribe to, <clears throat> all to do with photography. I want to see everything they put up, so I'm subscribed to theirs. But I have a lot more that I just have in my subscriptions, and I drop in and look and see if there's something that I want to take a closer look at. If you want a set of the plans for building the awesome rolling toolbox, which I did in the past, you can click on the link right here in the video. Also, don't forget, right there, those thumbs. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.